check out this Deco AXE5300. Doing a full unboxing, full review. Look at the speeds in this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's going to replace your old mesh. We're going to show you how to do it, do an unboxing. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the review channel. Today I'm looking at a new Wi-Fi mesh system. Uh, my old one is kind of outdated and I want to get something new. This is a Deco uh, TP-Link uh, mesh system, the AXE5300. Uh, it's again, Wi-Fi mesh. Uh, speeds up to 5300 we know how that goes um coverage up to 78 200 square feet we know how that goes and can and can connect up to 200 different devices well we'll see what happens i'm not really sure about all that all i know hopefully it works so we'll do a quick unboxing quick setup and um hopefully everything works well new to my channel don't forget to uh like share and subscribe i appreciate you tuning into something like this i do all types of high tech um, how-to videos and a little bit of everything under the sun on my channel and this is just another thing that i just purchased myself i did buy this with my own money nobody sent me this uh, and this is just something that i want to do for myself and just hopefully helps you a little bit make a decision what you want to do um, definitely leave a link down below in the description box um, for this exact product there's a link and it's an affiliate link and i do get a small commission if you go ahead and purchase it which costs you nothing it does help support my channel and i do appreciate that thanks so much so smash that like button follow for more and let's continue and this is what it looks like this is how it comes these are three identical um, basically pods we'll call them each one of these you can connect directly into the router and each one of these will be a um they'll connect to each other and basically give you that daisy chain kind of connection. Uh, also, uh, the tri-band mesh system gives you all that. This is a 6E uh, on the Wi-Fi. Uh, so newest, not the newest, newest, but new, new enough uh, for me. Uh, again, this is the 6E, as you can see right here. On the back of each one of these devices is a power uh, port and three uh, Ethernet ports. Um, this is automatically, you can plug your device into any of these router, your router into any of these and it automatically will pick it up and connect. It doesn't really matter. Each one of these are exactly the same as you can see, which is kind of cool. So what I understand when I, saw, when I saw online that you can actually daisy chain these together, get a better connection. You can use the Wi-Fi signal. You can connect all together. Different ways of, of doing the system. I'm just going to hook it directly to one to the router. Um, and then the rest of these, you just hook up and just once you plug them in, once you get the first one set up, you're all set to go. The yellow ones will automatically connect and talk to the main base, which is whatever one you hook up to your router. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. Here's the bottom of it. You can see this is what it looks like. There's a reset button right there. Right Here's a reset button. So there's an issue. You can just hit the reset. Um, and everything has this little plastic stuff all over. So we'll get all this stuff off of it, which is annoying. Get rid of that. Uh, so here's a close-up of that. We want you to see that real quick. You can see here. So right here is the three different ports, and here is where you plug in the power. And each one of them are identical. And what is in here, let's take this out. And in here, as of course, is three power supplies, three power bricks, okay? You get three power supplies, which is important, and a user's guide and an Ethernet cable. What else is in here? nothing else what's in here nothing all right so just download the software and uh, we're going to hook it up and just uh, do a quick quick test uh some speed test and uh, we'll see what happens and hopefully it'll work out i'm going to do a future test um in the in the future just to give you an update and to see how it's working continue another video another maybe another two or three weeks on the line and i'll give you a full update on performance and connect to connectivity uh so let's do that all right let's continue with that and get this hooked up Okay, so I downloaded the app and went through a couple of different instructions. So basically it's telling me to, um, once I pick the right device, to shut down the modem um, and then connect the device and then reboot the modem and start this up and you should get a blinking light in the bottom. Uh, then once it goes solid, it should automatically connect. Hopefully we'll get everything set up correctly. Um, and let's see what goes on. I mean, this is the first time using this type, type of product. I've always used the Nighthawk. I was in my uh, old one. I've had it for about five, six years. And so we're going to update it with this. And hopefully it's just as simple as plugging it in and it connects. We'll see what, what happens. Let's continue. I want to thank everyone for watching the video. If you're interested and you really love this kind of content, please support my channel with the link down below at Buy Me A Coffee. Anything anything, and everything we do raise goes back into the channel to make great videos to help you make your, uh, do your life decisions much easier. All right, back to the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so I did um, install the app, as you can see here. It is checking the modem. It is going through a setup mode. Just plug the modem back in. It'll pretty much set up by itself. It is pretty, pretty um, easy to do. Um, the most com uh, difficult part was to reset all my devices. They're already on my network. Like my cameras had to be reset and my garage door had to be reset. So that's the only pain in the butt about changing these systems is that you have to really change everything. I'll reset all the, uh, you know, the diagram, reset all the, the passwords, reset the network. It just, it took me like a day to get that all, ag it was aggravating, but that's just the way it is that the smarter our homes get, the more work they become. So it is what it is, but it, it took about, I would say about 
35 seconds, a minute, minute and a half, maybe around there, to really get it up and running. Um, and once it got up and running, it was no problem. Do the firmware update. That's super important. Do that. Um, I'm going to do some speed tests, so stay tuned. Watch to the end of the video. I'm going to show you three different access points, and in my house is about 2,600 square feet, upstairs, downstairs. I'm going to show you speed tests from each specific location and show you each where the uh, routers are, uh, the location. But this is uh, pretty easy to set up. Just take your time, put your passwords in, do what, you, do what you have to do. If you have a 2.4 gigahertz system, you have to set up a separate uh, network for that and just use a guest network and make that 2.4 gigahertz, and that'll work just fine. Uh, and that's as easy, very, very easy to do. All right, I'm going to show you my speed test right now it's up and running okay so the first speed test is in the office i'm using an iphone 14 pro max just to show you, just to be clear and transparent that's what i'm using for a device to record these speeds on so this is in my office and this is right near the modem uh, right near the router uh, just so you know so this is the speeds going uh, download i have gigabit speed uh, from comcast and i don't know never I, don't, I never get really full full gigabit, but this is fine. 600 megabits per second is fantastic. 650, 670, fantastic. I do own my own uh, modem um, and it is uh, capped off at a certain speed. So I think it could be an issue there as well. Um, but check your firm, firmware updates, check everything. And um, But I'm very happy with these speeds. Before I was getting maybe half the speed with my old system, my old mesh was really kind of dated, five years old. You can see the difference. I'm getting decent speeds at 683 to 40 uh, download. Really, really good. A uh, second location was in the living room area and behind some front furniture. I wanted it out of the way more so. So I have a little bit of obstructions. And then I went to my sunroom, which is probably around 25 feet away, uh, roughly maybe 20 feet away in a back corner. And I wanted to get to it. This was a dead spot. I was merely, maybe if I was getting hundred megabytes, uh, megabits per second download, I was lucky. Uh, so you can see here, I'm getting 400, over 400 download megabits per second, which is really good. I'm very happy with this. It really does paint your whole house uh, with the, with your Wi-Fi. So it definitely works really well. You can see these speed tests do prove that. Um, again, these were all dead spots in my home. Um, just the only thing you just have to be aware of if you're using a 2.4 gigahertz older Wi-Fi um, device. You just have to make sure you set up a separate network. Uh, just go under guest settings. Very easy to do and just create a network of 2.4 gigahertz only and make a password for that specific one only. And then you can connect that device very easily. Third location here was up in the bedroom. Again, another dead spot. Uh, still, even though I had the old mesh, it didn't really work well. This one really works well. I went to my, uh, about 30 feet away for this one. Uh, again, I'm getting 500 megabits, almost 600, 650. It's really just really cool. And so I'm getting great speed. So no complaints. Highly recommend this. If you're looking for a good mesh system, this works really, really well. Great upload speeds, great download speeds. You can see between four and 600 megabits download and 30s uh, megabits uh, upload, which is fantastic. So I'm back in my office. This is what it is. So I just want to finish off the video and say I highly recommend this. Definitely get this product here. It really works well. Um, fantastic. I don't have any 6E uh, devices yet. They will be coming soon, I'm sure. But I am ready for the future. And who knows what for? Who, else, who knows what else? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Appreciate your time as always. And thanks for watching.